Once upon a time, there lived a champion who swore revenge against a mighty dragon, for the dragon had killed the champion's father. The elders of the village advised the champion. They said, And so, the journey to avenge the champion's father began. The champion saw a man lying by the road, his bloodied leg caught in the trap. He cried, Please, help! I've been stuck for days! The champion studied the trap. The only thing that might wedge it open was the champion's shield, but the shield would surely be destroyed in the process. The champion was faced with a choice. Help the man and face the dragon without a shield, or forsake the man and keep the shield. The champion decided to save the man. The shield was destroyed. The champion noticed the creature blocking the road. It was the dragon's minion. The champion knew it was time to use the sword. The champion swore on the sword to destroy the minion. The champion defeated the creature easily, but knew the dragon would not be as simple. The champion saw a woman at the side of the road. Champion. My child is deathly ill and might not survive the trip to the doctor. Please help me. The champion had a choice to make. Give the mother the health amulet and face the dragon with diminished strength, or keep the health amulet and leave the child to certain death. The champion decided to give the mother the amulet and save the child. The champion encountered another one of the dragon's minions. The champion swung the sword to destroy the minion. The champion defeated the creature but could feel the effects of giving away the health amulet. Up ahead, the champion saw a fork in the road. On the left path was the dragon, about to fly away. On the right path was a little girl screaming for help as one of the dragon's minions chased her. The champion had to make the ultimate choice. Save the girl and let the dragon fly off, for failing the quest, or leave the girl to her fate and fulfill the duty of avenging the champion's father. The champion chose to save the girl and abandon the quest. The champion swung the sword to destroy the minion. The minion was defeated, and the girl thanked the champion profusely. In the distance, the dragon flew away. But the champion understood that abandoning the quest was the right path to take.
champion decided to leave the man. The champion could always return after slaying the dragon. The champion decided to leave the mother and child, for the quest to slay the dragon was more important. The champion encountered another one of the dragon's minions. The champion swung the sword to destroy the minion. The champion defeated the creature easily. The champion chose to battle the dragon and abandon the girl. The champion swarmed the sword to destroy the dragon. The dragon was defeated and the quest completed. However, in abandoning humanity and duty to fellow man, the champion became the very beast the champion swore to defeat. Freedom would only come if another chose the path of revenge in the face of humanity.